higher on the Bible form. We're talking about abortion. The United States House of Representatives passed something they're calling a pain capable unborn child protection act they did this last week october 3rd to be exact the vote was 237 republicans against 189 democrats it doesn't say it that way it says largely along party lines but you figured it would be that way this same chamber also passed a version of the bill in 2015, but last Tuesday's bill is expected to do the same thing as the 2015 bill, and that is to fail in the Senate. The bill received the official backing of the Trump administration. The White House said, it strongly supports the Republicans' efforts to, quote, secure critical pro-life protections and believes Americans' children deserve the stronger protections that a bill of this sort is going to provide. The bill, if enacted into law, would help to facilitate the culture of life to which our nation aspires. The statement from the White House went on to say, additionally, the bill would promote a science-based approach to unborn life, as recent advancements have revealed that the physical structures necessary to experience pain are developed within 20 weeks of fertilization. The bill cr criminalizes abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy. It introduces fines and jail time up to five years for people who perform these abortions and or for people who attempt to have them. The measure would not penalize we women seeking abortions after 20 weeks and would allow the procedure in the case of rape or incest or in the case of saving the mother's life. Now, I don't know who it is that's attempting an abortion if it's not the mother-to-be. Perhaps it's a nurse, a doctor, somebody who's trying to do this on the side, not going to an official place. I don't know. Uh, the article seemed a little confusing to me. Obviously, pro-choice groups have risen up against this. Even before the House voted on it, they have been lobbying against the bill, calling it cruel and unconstitutional. Not sure what is unconstitutional about it. Humane theology was the foundation of Dr. George Tiller's practice. Dr. Tiller's practice in Kansas, he's a physician, championed a woman's choice based on his interpretation of a sacred responsibility, which features the alleviation of suffering. Apparently, childbirth is suffering. In this case, the woman's suffering under the burden of a pregnancy, a pregnancy that she invited. Not all pregnancies are invited, but we're talking about the kind that are. Dr. Willie Parker is an MD, and his life's work has been something called a moral argument for choice. He wrote, if God is in everything and in everyone, then God is as much in the woman making a decision to terminate a pregnancy as in her Bible. Dr. Parker believes that God sanctions abortion killing of babies. The Oprah magazine quotes him as having written in his book, alleviating needless suffering is a Christian's sacred responsibility. This is a case of words don't 
mean things. These are people who tell us that they are physicians, they are healers, who tell us that they are Christians, that they know what the Bible teaches on these various subjects, and yet each one is lifting things out of context, whether it's medical context or biblical context, in order to kill babies. I provided you, I believe, on our website this week, a picture of a 20-year-old old baby. The doctor is holding that child in his hand. That's how small they are. I believe that picture is an artist's rendition because as I looked for pictures of these babies, they, they weren't pretty. And I didn't really want to put up the things that they were showing. But they did show that size and I have a, an adopted grandson who, whose mother sought to abort him at 23 or 26 weeks, I forget which. He's 14 years old. He has hearing problems. He has muscular problems. He had lung problems. But he's 14 years old. He's almost as big as me. He can do anything you can do. He bears the scars, but he survived it. These people want to kill him. And they're calling on God to justify it. And they're calling on you to justify it. Speaking of physicians... The American College of Physicians wrote in a position statement published last September 19 in the Annals of Internal Medicine. They wrote that the organization of 152,000 medical professionals stands against the legalization of physician-assisted suicide. They said, quote, the practice of which raises ethical, clinical, and other concerns. They went on to write that control over the manner and timing of a person's death has not been and should not be a goal of medicine. However, through high quality care, effective communication, compassionate support, and the right resources, physicians can help. They can help patients control for many aspects of how they live out life's last chapter. The position paper came in response to increasing public interest in legalizing euthanasia to promote patient autonomy at the end of life. The American College of Physicians said it remained attentive to all voices but decided to oppose legalization efforts. This is clearly from what's coming to us from Europe, Great Britain, and other European countries. These people are lining up and they are killing off their elderly, anybody who wants assisted suicides. These doctors say that's a slippery slope, and any logical person would have to agree. They make movies, they write books about this sort of thing where somebody suddenly wakes up dead and they go through all the machinations only to find out that they didn't really want to die but somebody was tired of taking care of them and if you take care of somebody who's really sick they're on their way out there's a point at which they're susceptible to the constant barrage of, of certain kinds of information. They're susceptible to your need, to the burden that you have as you present it to them. And they just realize at some point that they probably need to get out of the way. It's natural. But you see, when that happens and we have assisted suicide or we have this kind of thing in our country, it's legal, no one will ever know that it was the caregiver. 
that pushed that button and got them to that place. It wasn't that they did that themselves. Which side is the right side? Whose side are you on? It gets really, really strange. God gives life. God takes life. Let God be God. <laughs>